All right, so just thought I'd do a quick video. I'm out here painting these uh, boxes that we made a video of. We made them. And this is how I like to paint my boxes. Nothing fancy. Um, I just literally flip a lid upside down or some type of board, something to hold the boxes off the ground. I stack them up in line and I use a paint roller. So I just use old cheap paint roller. I got one of those metal things to go in the bucket. I got my bucket of paint at a Habitat for Humanity Restore. Uh, pretty good deal. I got, I think I got a five gallon bucket of paint for like 35 or $45. So it's an exterior uh, paint. Let's see, hang on and I'll show you what kind it is. It's that right there. So pretty good high quality paint. It says four and a half gallons, and I got it for, uh, like I said, thirty-five or forty-five dollars. Now I've got a sprayer. I'm gonna get out of here, out of the sun. Um, I've got a sprayer, a spray gun, a Wagner. I've got some that you use air hose, and I still continue to go back to the paint roller. I think a paint roller is the best, and I'm gonna tell you why. And that is, I just don't think with a sprayer that you can get as thick of a coat on the wood and i don't think that the thin coat that you put on with the sprayer really protects it protects the wood that good this was especially true with my swarm traps one year i i may have mentioned this in a video i one year i decided to buy that sprayer and spray about 45 swarm traps and i'd say i ended up having to throw about half of those things away because the simple fact that after one season of using them the plywood was so warped and messed up from the moisture that they were they were unusable. They were they were ruined, and uh, the traps that I had made the year before, I had rolled uh, two good thick coats of paint on and had absolutely no problem. The swarm traps that I used last year are the same ones that I'm using this year. I uh, used that same brown paint right there when i built those swarm traps last year i put two good thick coats of paint on them and i left some of those swarm traps out all winter long and they have not warped or messed up or anything so i'm a big believer in you know it's just one of those things like the old saying you get what you pay for um you know the sprayer it may be faster on th some things. This horse trailer, for example, a sprayer would be much faster on this horse trailer because there's a lot of nooks and crannies and little like small areas that you have to get into that you can't get with a roller. But I'm telling you, uh, a roller, when you stack up boxes like this and you're using a five gallon bucket like I'm using and that little thing, it does not take very long to slap some paint on some boxes. I would be hard pressed to believe that the sprayer would outrun you that much. And I tell you another thing that I've found with the sprayer is a sprayer wastes a lot of paint. There is a lot of paint that goes flying in there. Could be because I don't know what the heck I'm doing with the sprayer. Uh, I'm not going to lie. You know, that, that could be it. I followed the instructions, but maybe I'm not the best. But it just seems to me like I can get paint to go a lot farther whenever I'm using a, uh, a roller, you know, versus a sprayer. And then on top of that, I get a better coat too so it's kind of a win-win for me all right that's what i'm doing today a little bit of painting y'all have a good one yeah.